Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. It is Monday, that's the Monday Morning Grind, brought to you by Blackout Coffee. Check them out, they make fantastic coffee, whole bean or ground. They make it in K-Cups as well. And don't forget, if you purchase the Guns and Gadgets uh, blends, that's 2A and 1776, you can directly help the channel and have some fantastic coffee in the meantime. Check them out, don't forget to check out the subscriptions as well. And thank you for supporting Guns and Gadgets. Let's go on to today's news. More of an advisory and a recap, if you will. A lot of people were very concerned about Representative Hank Johnson's bill, HR 5717. Uh, that was the bill that looked to have basically all of the gun control we've ever heard of before, stuff it together in one bill and ban things federally and create a registry and all kinds of stuff like that. If you haven't seen that video yet, please watch that video. I'll link it right above. Uh, that is, uh, if you're a Second Amendment uh, advocate or supporter or shooter or hunter or whatever, that is like required watching. That is uh, Second Amendment Info 101. So please watch that video and share it with your friends. Because if you haven't watched it, then chances are they haven't seen it either. And these, this, that bill and the one I'm, I'm doing an update on today absolutely have to be watched. Especially now with the uh, coronavirus going on and everybody distracted Okay, distracted. That is when these types of actions by the cowards in Congress take place. Uh, and the bill that I'm going to refresh everybody on is the bill that I talked about in January uh, that was submitted by Elizabeth Warren. Oh, Focahontas. Uh, and that bill at the time when I did that video hadn't had a number assigned for it because literally the person who gave me the heads up, it literally was just submitted uh, and the ink was still wet on the paper. Uh, but uh, it's S3254. I'll have links to both of those bills. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> this one's no good either. This one is still there, all right? It was just moved to another uh, subcommittee, which means they're still uh, thinking about it. It's not dead yet. So I'll give you uh, some information on both of these bills. You need to track them. You need to pay attention. And if it's something that you're not comfortable doing, then subscribe to Guns and Gadgets because that's what I do is I try to keep everybody up to date with what's going on uh, with these crazy, uncontrollable <laughs> liberals that uh, are supposed to be, uh, you know, protecting and defending the United States Constitution. So let's talk about, first off, uh, the, the House bill uh, from Hank Johnson. Now, in the video I did, I went through it kind of in detail by each section, which were called titles, uh, but it looked to create a federal gun license. Uh, it looked to ban certain guns, AWB, assault weapon ban, uh, it was a magazine, magazine restriction, a federal red flag, stop anyone under 21 from possessing, owning a firearm or purchasing a firearm, stop the interperson uh, sales, the gun shows, stuff like that. It also stopped, you know, 80% um, lower builds, you know, ghost guns, uh, it stopped things like your ability to purchase what you wanted in the amount you wanted, because it was a 31 gun per 30 days, and even raised taxes on guns and ammo to an exorbitant amount. So now let's talk about the Elizabeth Warren bill that uh, many people are still unaware of. And again, I'll have that link floating above as well. Watch this video that I did on it uh, because these two bills are a serious threat to what we consider our, our normal, uh, especially in a time where government is kind of overstepping their limits right now, if you, and you know what I mean, nationwide when it comes to the second, where they're trying to create a new normal. All right, they're gonna use this, uh, this pandemic to change things fundamentally, at least try to. And these bills look to do that. So the Elizabeth Warren bill in the Senate uh, does things like create a nationwide gun registry, uh, ban all semi-automatic rifles, just about all of them, uh, institute a federal magazine ban, implement a national red flag, uh, raise the uh, tax on guns to 30% and ammo to 50%. It's almost an exact mirror of 5717. So if they're already in cahoots with the same bills, that means there's a lot of people that are, you know, uh, behind this. Even though it doesn't have a lot of co-sponsors right now, if they're working together like this, where it's the sister, and you know, the sister bills are so close together, that means, I mean, A, there's a lot of Bloomberg money in it, all right, and telling people what to put in the bill, and a lot of uh, guppies who are looking to take orders from their master. Now, the Senate version also would look to ban people under 21 from owning, possessing, or buying any firearms. Would institute that 31 gun per 30 day 
issue, force safe storage, ban 80% lower builds, both would ban suppressors, both have weird stuff for FFLs and how they have to have certain types of security, which would be very, very costly to them, probably cost prohibitive to some of them and putting many of them out of business. They also have gun free zones in them. There's a lot of stuff in them. I'll put them down below, like I said, if you want to read them. But uh, stay in the know with these bills. You have to let your reps know you don't want these bills. I'll have links down below as well to contact your members of Congress. I'll have find your senator down below, find your representative down below, and uh, you need to you need to do it. I mean, if you, if you have any vested interest, make a 20 second phone call, or even better, pen a 30 second letter. Doesn't take long to write, you know, a couple paragraphs. Hi, my name is, I live at, I am one of your uh, constituents. I'm writing regarding bill HR 5717 or S3254. These bills go against everything the constitution stands for, blah, blah, blah. Write in whatever else you want, uh, but make sure you take some type of action, especially in times like this where everybody's overreacting government-wise. Uh, they're banning, uh, you know, transit transfers. They're banning the sale of ammo. Uh, now we, the gun owners of America had to send a letter to the Trump administration demanding, well, asking nicely, that they make firearms part of the essential uh, group. And thankfully he did. But there are still states that will not change that designation. There are still states that say, you know, we make the rules in our state and firearms is not essential. So how could something be essential in one state but not in the others? That is a question the government needs to answer. Um, if, if I live in a state where my safety is essential and a mile down the road on the other side of the state line, you live there and your governor is telling you that your safety is not essential. That, we need to start taking that really serious. Like, we should be blowing up their phones, going to see them stay six, six feet away, um, but they still work for us. Um, we can't let this stuff, you know, slide by because that's what they're hoping. They're hoping we're so worried about toilet paper and hand sanitizer that they can force these through. So, uh, I'll, again, I'll have the links down below on how you can reach your representatives. Guys and gals, look, we're all stuck at home. Most of us are stuck at home. Uh, and your kids are all stuck at home. And if you want a way to get away from your kids for a minute, go to a different room, grab your phone or grab your computer, pen, uh, pen a letter, write an email, make a phone call. Uh, it's a good way <laughs> to let your folks who represent you know how you feel on this. So again, Hank Johnson's bill is in the House. Elizabeth Warren's is in the Senate. Uh, the House bill, that's the scary part because the House can force it through. They have the votes. The Senate is the one that we really, really need to make sure it doesn't move uh, through the committees and stuff. So that's on us. All right, so I'll update you on where they stand at the moment. So the Elizabeth Warren bill in the Senate was moved to the Senate Finance Committee, which means they're trying to see um, how much this will make for them. Because again, they're raising the gun and ammo tax 30 and 50%. Uh, so they're going to see how this would impact their bottom line and where they could spend that money on, on stuff. Uh, the House bill is in a couple different committees. The House bill is in the the Ways and Means uh, Committee in the House. Again, that's money. How much can we make off this? How much does it cost to implement? Uh, it's also in the House Energy and Commerce Committee. And it was in the House Judiciary Committee, but it was uh, referred to a House Judiciary Subcommittee on Crime, Terrorism, and Homeland Security. So they're actually looking into these bills, uh, looking to see how much they make, uh, how will they affect energy and commerce? So that tells you where there's smoke, there's fire. All right, everybody, thank you for your time. I hope your family and yourselves are all safe and healthy. If not, please do what you have to do to get that way. One life lost from this craziness is too much. So uh, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and take care of our rights. You got to act on this stuff. Till we see each other again, my name is Jared. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this channel. This is where you'll find all the news related to the Second Amendment. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, no matter where it's happening in the nation. And oftentimes, you'll find about it a couple days ahead of everybody else. So thank you for your time. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.